Bernard Nazima, the CEO for National Rights Council. Okay, so uh, maybe please tell us more about about this event. So over the past three days, the National Rights Council, together with the Diagnostic Medical Supplies and Kyogen, have teamed up to support Ladies Golf. There's been a tournament which started on Friday and ending today. But not only uh, are we playing golf, are women playing golf, we've also made sure that uh, they are getting services for cervical cancer screening and for HIV. So the unique tests which we are doing uh, over the past three days, which we are offering women, and they've come in their thousands, is actually called HPV DNA uh, testing. And it's actually a self-test. So this is unique in that the woman collects the sample herself and it's sent to the laboratory for analysis. Okay, so what innovative role do you think sports plays when it comes to improving issues about women health? A sport is a unifier and definitely, as we have noted over the past three days, is that you can actually use sport uh, to, uh, to, you can ride on sport to, to, to make sure that health services are offered. So we, we, we are doing this and we think it has worked. We have got those women who play golf and even they, they coming along with their friends or relatives to be screened. And we really think uh, other sports can also be used as a medium to offer health services. So how, how effective do you think this tournament has been? Uh, we are yet to look at the figures, but I think we are in excess of 1,000. But what we have noted is that there is definitely a gap uh, which needs to be filled uh, in terms of uh, screening for health. And we even want maybe to extend it to men as well, uh, because we also know that men sometimes they get prostate cancer. Okay, so what are the services do you offer the, the ones that are getting screened after this event? Uh, after screening, definitely you want to look at the results. For those women who are negative, it's a good thing for them. Uh, they will need to be re-examined maybe after five years if they're HIV negative and maybe early if they're HIV positive. But for those who get a positive screen, we link them to health services. They have to go to for the next stage uh, to be assessed further. And this can be either at a district hospital, a central hospital or a provincial hospital throughout the country. Okay, uh, thank you for your time.